Hello friends and welcome again to another FK Juni video. In this video we'll be talking about two things, the Snow Stomper and the Duras Trials. Now I'll explain the Duras Trials and we go and gonna do some runs with it and I will show you how it works and what's about it and there's two modes for it so we'll be explaining that and we're gonna test it on the boss. Currently we have Snow Stomper as the boss of today and we're gonna go and check after we have the artifacts on that boss. Duras Trials, we have two modes, Sunset and we have Sunrise. As you see, Sunset will have full access on Sunday, so by reaching Sunday, I will have this. The basic things that you have, we have days that you can go and defeat that. So, Sunset will occur on Monday, Wednesday and Friday for specific classes. And also, on Sunrise, you're gonna be having also uh, specific classes for different days, like Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So we're gonna have, uh, like today, we have the supports and we have the mages and you're gonna have three attempts for every stage to go and clear it or sweep it after you clear it for the first time. Now the first time that you clear it, you're gonna be uh, not purchasing or using any of your tries. So if we're gonna go and check this one, I didn't try it yet. So it says down there, no Duras tokens needed for the battle. So you can go and start the battle and use your uh, lineup, your normal lineup if you wish even though they have uh, recommended heroes that are buffed here and you're gonna see that are, are at sunrise there these heroes are buffed at sunset uh, these are heroes that are buffed and even though that we don't uh, use them also it works and these lineup will carry you uh, with your normal lineup specifically when you farm the first stages that uh, the first tower is easy now what happens when you defeat the tower you're gonna have the sweep functionality and now it will take from the tokens up there and you will not be doing that for free for the day so every new stage you're gonna defeat it once now you can sweep it so you can claim that or you have the chance to get one of these boxes this box is the charm chest 2 which will give you up to elite uh, uh, fragments or it will give you elite uh, charms and this one will give you uh, random common or uh, rare uh, uh, charm which is a less uh, powerful artifact now with uh, the rare ones or the blue ones let's call them the blue ones the blue charms will not give you another passive or effect while the elite ones if you can complete the set and get the three of them it will start giving you these passives so you need to focus a little bit and be lucky with your rng to get these and these will help you massively to unlock or get more stuff so the main uh, thing that you want to go and i did my first run and i got i think for smoky i got one so if we go here and we're gonna go and check Smokey. We're gonna click this after you click it. And we have one of this, which is Black Iron Amulet. And it's an elite. Equip three elite. Okay, quick socket. Okay. Equip three elite or above magic charms to activate the season bonus set. So with the elite, restores HP. Restore 80% HP for the weakest ally every 8 seconds. The healed ally will only receive 20% healing when healed again by this skill's for five seconds which is absolutely crazy now on epic it will be increased more and more and the duration will be more and more and you can recycle the ones that you don't need so what do you get uh, also you can equip the ones that are rare but we didn't get any rare for him now the rare ones like here we have rares for her if we unlock or if we equip the rare ones the rare ones will not give anything as you see elite epic and legendary and mythic ones are the one that you want to farm from that so we're gonna go and climb in the tower then use them on these units after we use them on these units we're gonna go to snow stumper and check how much damage is it we can do so without further ado i didn't do this first one uh, the second one which will give us od so i will be focusing myself on farming this one at least because i want the od ones for now and od ones are the one that i'm putting my eye on so i'm gonna get the buff from him so the characters that are buffed are the ones that I usually use, which is Smokey and Odie, which is absolutely perfect. And Odie actually gets, uh, uh, Smokey and Odie will get uh, these buffs. Now, we can use the same simple lineup that we always use with Antandra and Brutus. Where's Brutus? Here's Brutus. Antandra, Brutus, and I can use Cecilia, maybe. I, I can use Carolina, but I will use Cecilia here because this is the lineup that I use, or Rowan sometimes. And we're gonna use also this one to deal aoe damage and hopefully we can clear it easy peasy you know no problems and it will be no problem actually the first stage is not that hard it's okay they can sustain a little bit the enemies but if there's no way that they can clear you or defeat you even if you're free to play or not 
So here we go, we won this one, and what do we get? Hopefully we get two elites, not only one. Okay, this is the, the elite one that you will get always with the first clear a box, and you can unlock this box and get it for mages. And the other one, we got one for Entendre, which is absolutely good. It's not bad, and we got one OD. Yes, we got one for OD, actually, and that's it. Perfect, I want to buff my OD as much as possible. These are the heroes, the buffed heroes, I think, which will allow you to get from them. I don't know if it's the ones... I think it's random. Isn't it random? And here we got one for Smokey and Smokey is not here. Yeah, I think it's random. Yeah, I read it all. It doesn't say so. It's absolutely random, which is okay with me, but it, it is the one for the mages. If we check here, it's the, for the supports, it's here for the mages. So both of them are random, but because I think it's for the mages, it gives you the first reward as specific for this one. So. When we unlock this, it will get... So the requirements is to go to 345 to unlock this, and then this one for 390 shenanigans, and then to 5, it will give us... Uh, it will start give us the legendary one or the common... Uh, or the treasure 3, which is absolutely crazy. So we're gonna go and sweep it, and hopefully... I think... Ah, you can go and battle it if you don't want to sweep it, which is okay or normal. But we're gonna go and do sweep, and hopefully we're gonna get a chance to get... Uh, the epic ones. We got one for Ontandra. We got one for uh, what's his name, Nero. Uh, we got one for Damien. We didn't get any Odis here, did we? Nope, not a single one for Od from here. I should have done the other one. <laughs> can we buy? We can't buy. So it refreshes every day. The Duras tokens used to receive challenges and rewards in Duras tokens. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have another three, which will be okay. And we're gonna have, a, by tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, I think we will get uh, the ones for OD. No, Monday we get the one for OD. And in this one, which is the other one, it, it's on Thursday, so on Thursday. So Wednesday, it's, it, will not give us, uh, it will not give us the ones for that. So now we can go and equip all of these to our characters, oh. so... So, I finished equipping everything to every single unit, but the thing is that I didn't have duplicates from the same uh, charm, so I can go and recycle it, so I understand how it does. But when we recycle it, I understand that it will give us the resources, I will show you when I equip one of them. So, if we're gonna go and check our inventory, now that I have Smokey that has one of the charms that I want, I can use this. And it will give me a random one and it give me one for Rowan. Now, actually, this is good because Rowan now will be equipped Inventory. with the three of them, I guess. Shipment. Yes, here we go. So, if we're gonna go and check the recycle, we can recycle all of these oh, yes. that we have doubles yeah, from. So, husband. all of these we have double from. So, we can recycle them and get 12 essence, which will allow us to go and uh, craft one charm. So, we're gonna equip this. And now, we have a set, a three set, but you need three elites or above rarity to unlock a passive but with three you're gonna have everything unlocked having everything here we go so it has all all of them but it's not unlocking anything you can click on it and check what does it give you this one gives you 1.8 hp and 1.3 vitality this one will give you uh attack maybe or hp vitality and this one also hp and vitality so all of it hp and vitality for her what does our od one give us also hp and vitality HP and attack so because of his class it's different for him now the other ones that we have are the same ones So I have heaven full and we have other copies of her So we're gonna go and recycle all of these so if we do this we can recycle them So I was trying to check where do we change these or where do we upgrade them? So apparently if you click on them you can't upgrade them just like, like the way that you upgrade them in the, Let's say the artifacts or the, the the weapons that we have the equipment you can claw and click on one and it tell you or maybe until you get a specific, like, uh, let's say, uh, you get more resources of this dust that we have, then you're gonna go and click it and it have an upgrade uh, a, a button. And this is how I think, because when you click on one of these, it tells you you can get it from Season Growth Path or from Dural Styles. So anyway, until we're gonna go collect and recycle everything. Now, this is how it looks, the set complete bonus. Now, it gives you two attributes, the one that is rare. Now, what does the elite give you? The elite gives you one, let's say, Rowan. Rowan has one elite, so the elite one gives you three stats and you can check it from here actually if you're gonna go to the gold it gives you four this one gives you four but better ones and this one gives you five actually or six so this one gives you four all of them and this one gives you six and you can go and upgrade uh until you get the mythic or the highest one the paragon one which will give you 
a lot of points actually it will be the best one for him now there's two types one it, it's defensive which hp and energy on hit and which one one is uh, the ultimate strength and vitality so there's different ones ultimate strength skill power as you see here energy on hit ultimate strength so until you upgrade them to the maximum you can pick whichever you want like this one gives you five haste plus the attack bonus and the hp the most and this one gives you physical and magical defense and crit resist which is absolutely great for tanking and there's one for attack so it gives you power of attack and a uh, 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 haste i didn't see one for critical i think there's it there must be one for critical there must be one for critical but i didn't find anyone any any one of them that gives you critical hit until now so hopefully i'm mistaken living unit currently has the lowest hp ratio or something like that anyway uh critical 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 no, nothing gives you critical so that's it for these i think when you get these yellow dust that we uh recycled with to a specific level that you can upgrade one of them it will allow you to click on one instantly or under it so you can upgrade just like if we're gonna go and check our gears or, or our equipment here you can go to equipment and there's forge under it so you can click and have the option i think it have the same thing but until you get the resources you can go and check it so let's go and check now what we can do actually there's another one let's pop it hopefully it will give us uh, something for uh carolina and it give us for cassidy okay so this is how you go and we go to cassidy Have you ever and here it is some things can float in the air? actually if i want to do recycle i need to go to a different one that has well, one uh rowan has one so i can do this uh, there's no recycle right now because a character needs it. Okay, so you can go to Cassidy and immediately equip it. And if you give us uh, more stats, it will give us more uh, power. So our uh, actually we, we increased in power actually when we did that. Actually my power increased. Currently we 105. Now that we unlocked a little bit of uh, shenanigans here. And Odie at 180, Ceci at 179. So I think we can at least deal even more damage. Now, if we can't deal even more damage, we need to change our strategy. Now, this strategy was, I always played it this way. So I played, yeah, I was playing it this way. Uh, this way actually, or not? Uh, yes, I was playing it this way with uh, this, uh, the enlightening spell. So Coco can give us the buffs. And this is how I cleared the, the other stage, the stage be, uh, before this one, it was, this one is elite uh, the, or uh, hard. This one is hard mode. I think it's hard. Difficult. Yeah. Difficult. The other one was common too. How do we defeat it common too? I just use this lineup exactly like this. So Koku can go first and give us the buff. But now I want the Cecilia Golem actually to go first. So we can save uh, Odie from dying from the monster. So we can put Odie in here. So we can do this actually. And no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Koku is the... No. It's still Cecilia. Okay, not a big mistake actually, it's still okay, it's still good because Cecilia will drop the golem and we will get the buff from Coco and we have a lot of space for Thorin and the golem to get back really fast. I think this is even better. Hopefully we can get uh, the buff from Coco and then Smokey does his heals and we get all the buffs from all the team. Come on Smokey, heal us a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, thank you mate, that was awesome. And Sia gets a hit while having the Coco buff, which is good. Thorin is still surviving. We get a hit from Smokey. Then we get the buff from Coco. Come on, Coco. Come on, Coco. You can do it. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, Thorin died, which is okay right now. And we got a heal. Nice. And are we gonna break the record? Yes, we did. Absolutely nice. Fantastic. And he kills Sia. Okay, and as you see, still the boss is taking damage because Smoky Poison is ticking while he's in the frost bite from the boss, which is really nice. We improved our score, not the best. Of course, we can improve it more. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.